first tag sale we went to, the one with the coconut, the little white dog. Um, what we got here was this coffee bar for like five bucks. It sells for about in between 45 and 50 with shipping. So that's a good find right there. Um, this is a Zumba Malacca's. It's new. It comes with all the discs. There's three in here. There's three in here. There's one in here and it's not open. I don't remember. Me and my wife were going through this. My wife and I were going through these and I don't recall picking up this one and I don't recall grabbing this one. I'm actually going to go back and look at the footage because it's like a mystery. This is brand new. I don't even remember seeing this. So... We don't know how we got it. Um, this is Sarah Jordan's Singing Sight Words, Volume 1. I haven't saw comps on this, but I like to grab, you know, kids learning CDs and DVDs. It's just, I don't know, you don't get much for them, but they seem to sell all right. Um, this is just some, it's called High School. Um, I don't know, it seemed like this, this kid's bob. So I got it so I could pair them up in a lot. And I, I got these at 25 cents a piece. Then these Disney's Greatest, um, they sell for about $10 a piece. So $8 to $10 a piece. So I'm going to get some decent money if I pair those up. What's up with that guy? We're going to lot these up in fours, fives, sixes, and just let them go for there. For 25 cents, you might as well. Disney hits. Clamshells hit. So it sells like $9.99 with some shipping. It's a vacuum sealer for a wine bottle. And... This is a dual voltage travel iron. Needs some cleaning. I looked up comps on this and I think I'm gonna get about $14.99 with shipping for it. Um we got this camera. I'm a little bummed about this. I paid three bucks for it, so it's like ten. A memory card reader. Oh, let me show you this real quick. <clears throat> we got this for the kids. Look at that. Snow boogie. Computer speakers. I'm gonna get about ten bucks of these. I don't have the power source, I don't think, unless I didn't see it in the box while I was setting up the table. Um, look at the prices on these. I tested this one already and it works. Symphonic DVD player, 50 cents. That's what my wife was like, hey dude, there's some stuff over there, man. This didn't have a cord, I think I have the cord to test it. Um, it's straight up a Panasonic DVD player. So if you heard me in the beginning of the video say, look over there, there's some puzzles. Um, across the street, the tag sale, the first tag sale we went to was doing so well that it looked like their neighbors decided to set up a table. And they were putting out um, puzzles. So I went over there and I bought them all. Um, I don't know if the video came out well. I haven't edited it yet. But I just asked the guy six bucks on all this. Um, so you saw us go to uh, two smaller tag sales. One with just a cat. I'll do that one first. Uh, when we, but this jacket, $89 price tag. Jacqueline Farrar. Uh, so I sold counts for about 30 bucks. Brand new. Then this clear TV antenna. Now everything was wet, the bottom of the boxes, but this is brand new. And brand new, I mean, the things aren't even opened. These sell for about 15 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. 3D SXL. Look at that price. One dollar. And she works. Came with a game in it. Um, game hits. It's a Vera Bradley, pretty big bag. Um, my wife said she saw comps on it for about $25 pre-owned. Uh, she found this strip leather like organizers this one's a purse with a long strap boxed in it's genuine leather but new with tags and then this organizer new with tag um and then this one at that price a dollar forever sharp brand new 22 dollars <clears throat> pretty good finds in uh those two small little tag sales that didn't have much to offer so at this tag sale, we spent $13. Um, I'll go over everything I got. Now for $0.50, cents, we got this gas appliance connector. This will sell for about $10. Bucks. The package is beat up, but I like this old new stock stuff in my store. 
this He-Man McDonald's toy, Man at Arms. The prices were ridiculous. You had this whole collection of stamps, if you see here. It says 50 stamps, 50 cents for all. It's an alarm system by Defiant. Uh, I got it because it was 50 cents. This uh, single air Samsung phone. I got it because it was that, a doll. <sighs> My wife bought a haunted doll. This is a drill. Black & Decker VPX. The drill alone sells, look at this price, sells for $20. I got two batteries and the case, so I'm looking at $30. It's a Sony VCR. Uh, I can't find this actual VCR with the model number, but everything I type up comes up $60 or more. These glasses, it's a set. They wanted, I think, it's right here. $2 for the set. McDonald's Disney 25th, if you can see in there on the bottom. It says 25th. I was walking out, you saw the TV. Um, they wanted five dollars. It works, and the comps are about 120 to 125 dollars, somewhere around there. Like, so we hit an estate sale. Um, let me show you what we got. I got this. It's like a milk bottle cap. I'll probably put 14.99 on that. Um, got these stamps. They look like they're disabled veteran stamps. Got this. I thought this would be worth more. Just looks really cool. I could probably get about ten bucks for this. Then you saw me get the phones for five dollars. This one should sell for about twenty. It's a Panasonic caller ID. Um, this I sh This one's weird. I saw sold comps for this whole package right here for I think it was thirty dollars. Um, but. If I sell this, it's 20. If I sell this, it's 20. That's what the comps say. I sold this without the phone, it's 20. And then this was 10. So I don't know if I'm going to piece this apart. I have to see how fast those pieces actually sell. I can't find him with two ducks and not sitting. It's designed by Eric Stafer Stauffer, number 8394. These. We went in blind. Um, my wife got a bag of lures. They're just old and vintage. And I bought this. This is all $4, this little. Then I found this. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen one brand new. This one's brand new. I know it looks old, but when you open it up, it's still on the cardboard and stuff. Just kind of see how it is. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's brand new, but this is one of the nicest ones I've seen and the most complete. So I'm going to ask 20 bucks for this and work on the price if it doesn't sell real fast. I still can't find this if anyone knows. It looked old and neat and important because it was all by itself. Not find this. This tells you how deep your lure goes. Um, shows you how it works. I love this old new stock, so I can't find any comps on that, but I think that'll sell for pretty good. Scooby and Scrappy do Mad Libs. This is listed for brand new for 50 bucks. Mr. Mysteries, those ink pens. Uh, you saw she gave me the whole lot, I think, for two bucks. I don't know. None of them are written in. This one I'll get 15. This one will probably get 15. It has Kareem Abdul Jabbar. These things are old. Ripley, believe it or not. These two, I'm not sure. I saw a lot of them for like 30 bucks. And these two were probably the least valuable. But I think I might lot these up with these to make that better and then do these separate. First, I forgot this. This was at the uh, $13 tag sale with the TV. Pre owned about $14.99 for that from the 100 tag sales. Got a couple games. I don't even know what I paid for these. I want to go back and buy them all. I just grabbed um, Guitar Hero for PS3, a Wallace and Gromit game for PS2, and Street Volume 2 for PS2. Vintage 1992 Matchbox Collector's Carry Case. Um, it has a little Play City in it. And it came with cars. And this mat looks pretty... I have to go through these cars a little bit. I'm going to take like 
15 minutes of my life and just scan through them. There's only like 18 of them just to see if there's a gem in here. I got all these puzzles. I love puzzles. This one doesn't have much value, but I thought since it's Looney Tunes and it's 1981, it, and I got these Muppet Movie puzzles. These actually have some value. I'll put the comps up as I show you. Oscar the Grouch. That was the Swedish Chef before. The Cookie Monster. I think the Swedish Chef might have the best comp. And then Ernie. Um, I just noticed that they're all in the Muppet movies. Just that one. These are just Str Sesame Street Muppets, they're called. Then we got the a set of P90X. It's all there. It's all good. He gave it to us for free. Either I'm going to shred it myself. Yeah, right. I'll list this on let go or something. Then my wife found these color forms, these vintage color forms. Uh, the pieces seem to all be their little color form parts. See what I'm saying? That one's really nice. So we got G.I. Joe. The Muppet Baby seems to be the one that's you know, worth the most right now, like $17.99. I think the G.I. Joe hits for 10 but the way it's in condition, I might be able to get more for that. The Smurfs has a good value if um, it's like real nice and you can see it's like somebody played with it and just stopped and the parts are all there and this Kermit the Frog paid five dollars for this I'm pretty sure it's a catcher's mitt this is one of the nicest gloves I've ever found in the wild this one's been used but not a lot uh, I think it's there's more wear from it sitting in the warehouse than there is actual play. So comps on that with 35 bucks. And so used sold comps went from $60 for these, and these are brand new. So I'm asking $100, maybe a little more for those all day. I think I'm gonna try to buy all his vinyl. He didn't have a lot. I just skimmed through it real quick and just picked out like double sets, like this Jesus Christ Superstar, uh, Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. And Beatles love songs. It's in really good condition. And Gemini MX6300 preamp mixer equalizer. I paid $10 a piece for these. Don't know if they work. Little button missing here. There's something missing here. Maybe all these things are missing. Uh, this one's not there. I'm going to see if this one works because this is the money maker. It has the plug. You know what? Let's plug it in right now. So besides some headphone damage I'll show, the lights come on, um, I don't have really a speaker to test it out in, so I'll just kind of state that, and sold comps are way over $100 on this, so I'll definitely be able to make $50 to $60, and maybe $40 to $50 on that, as is. Um, I forgot to show this item. This is a uh, Sony FMAM Walkman. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, you can see me put it down in the video. It's an item he just said that uh, just throw in, but it really chewed a tape up. So I'll still get good money uh, for as is. But if you find these and they work, you can get close to about $100 for them with some headphones. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for going tag sailing with me.